I've come up to the beautiful Tutukaka coast to meet with Kristen Reed, Mastercraft Kitchen's head designer, to have a look at an amazing kitchen. Morning, Kristen. Morning. This is an amazing kitchen. This is so beautiful. What's the standout thing for you in it? Well, everything stands out to me because it's a fabulous space. Uh, but for me, it's the fact that there's five different materials in this one quite compact space, but it doesn't look busy, overwhelming as it could do. Right, let's talk about the materials. Well, in this kitchen, we've actually got uh, solar timber and timber veneer. And the colours work really, really well together, and it really makes the timber veneer stand out. It's a really rustic finish. I really love how everything in here has a raw and more natural feel, yet soft. So we've got you know the mat of the bench top, we've got the natural brasses, we've got the timber, which is interesting. You're right, it is quite rustic across the front, isn't it? Yeah, it actually has a band sawn um, texture right through it, and when you walk in you actually just really want to put your hands on it and it's lucky because they're all pushed open in front so you do, you get to touch them and really you know, feel that. Yeah, it's, it is a beautiful, I mean the first thing that stands out to me obviously is the bench top and I noticed that the uh, one with the cooker and it's different. Yes, Neil Hill from Mastercraft Kitchens Whangarei, he has considered what's happening in spaces beyond this and made it work. Like the back bench top is a different material because it continues into an outdoor kitchen and that bench top which is a composite stone is appropriate for outside. You know when you've got a really um, rich product like brass in the space you need to balance it out with really matte materials. Can you imagine if this was glossy too? Attracting us from the cool fittings like the brass surround and the brass tap, those are the things that shine and really, really just bounce off those really rustic materials on the back wall. The attention to detail, which is really evident in this kitchen, I mean, it's not really just something that you, know, you and I can see as designers, is it? No, it's something that when someone walks into a home and they go, wow, this feels so perfect and elegant and architectural and they can't really put their finger on why, it's that attention to detail and getting that right is what achieves that. It makes it feel like an architectural home. The difference between good and great. It's a seamless flow from inside to outside. What have they done out there? What was the purpose of that? So we've got these awesome big uh, sliding doors here and a bar fridge positioned nicely at the end of this island and they've actually extended their living space outside. It flows perfectly because it's practically the same deep bench that runs right through. Yep. We've got a very similar style in the tap wear. The melamine that we have in the kitchen is just not appropriate for outside because you've got moisture and elements and weather and things to consider. So Neil has specified a plywood, a marine grade ply, that has a high pressure laminate pressed onto it in a very, very similar colour to the kitchen. So it just flows right through, but it's just going to last the distance because it's not going to get affected by those elements. Without having to come in and out of the space, you've actually got a bit of a kitchen out and there. And you've got the sink so you can do a basic wash up outside and sit back down and just enjoy your time outside with your guests. I have outdoor envy. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I have to say I love the splashback. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a ceramic tile. It is, yeah, it's a ceramic tile with um, just black grout, um, but it creates quite a cool texture. I love the LED lights and the effect that they give washing down the front. It definitely contributes to the space, and I actually really love how they haven't put the floating shelves level with the bottom of the range hood, because it just creates that layer, and again draws your eye back to all the different materials that are happening on the back wall. Speaking of range hood, um, clearly not off the shelf, uh, but an amazing touch. It makes this whole kitchen pop. The added brass, it really does add so much. What, what goes into making something like that? Basically, the joiner makes a custom wood box, uh, just what you'd use you know, to make your cupboards or, or a door. Um, they fit an undermount range hood, fit it up, and then the brass is um, wrapped around it. So I guess in summary, anything that I would want that might need to be custom made or I could dream up, you guys could do? Yeah, we actually have a bit of a saying at Mastercraft Kitchens. If our designers can draw it, we will make it. Kristen, thank you so much for taking the time to show me this beautiful kitchen. No problem, let's go take a look outside.